you who listen regularly understand that uh, this current oil price depression was forecast by Lindsey Williams. Pastor Williams got a phone call from a very important man he had known for probably 30 years. Uh, this is going back last, uh, I think, last June, May, June, somewhere around there. And the man told Lindsay that the price of oil was going to be suppressed down to $50 a barrel by election time in order to, among other things, pretty well bankrupt much of the Arab nation combine, which it is uh, certainly well on the way to doing in many cases already, uh, not to mention the damage it's doing to Russia, which will certainly please Zbigniew new Brzezinski to no end. Back with us tonight is Pastor Lindsey Williams. I've invited Lindsey to come back on and kind of revisit all this and tell us what he may be able to add to that. Oil right now, by the way, is $43.05 per barrel. The demand, of course, is not sky high, to put it mildly, because of the economic depression we are undergoing, which is not going to go away anytime soon. So let's find out what Lindsey has to say. Welcome back, Pastor Williams. Glad you could be here tonight, and I thank you. Thank you, Jeff, so very much for allowing me to be on your show tonight. Oh, you're exactly right. But the, 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 the wonderful part is, I don't know whether it's wonderful or not, that gentleman who called me the middle of June, who knows everything that goes on behind closed doors, he was exactly right. Everything he said, with exception of one item that you and I know about, he was right. OPEC financial oil ministers met this past weekend, and they said, this is a quote from them. They said, we have lost two and one-half trillion dollars in four months because of the fall of crude oil prices. Right. Now, Jeff, that means just one thing. That man knew everything that went on behind closed doors. He knew six months to a year in advance exactly what was going to take place. Right. And, Jeff, everything that you have said all of these years – Everything you've tried to tell people over the air and on Rents.com, it's exactly right. It, isn't it amazing to watch these people do exactly what they say they're going to do? I, you know, it does amaze me, and I've made mention many times of that, Lindsay. And the angle that is particularly, I guess, mind-boggling is the arrogance with which they're doing it now. They're not making any pretense about hiding, about stealth, about uh, machinations behind closed doors. They're just doing it, and they're almost defying what's left of the American intelligentsia or that part of our society which can still add to and to to do anything about it. It's uh, it's amazing to see, but I guess when you own the media, when you own the entertainment industry, when you own all the major business and financial centers of this country, you can kind of get away with it because they sure as hell are. Well, 35 years ago when I wrote the manuscript for my book, The Energy Non-Crisis, and dared to put out their names, dates, places, and what these people were doing. Right. Back in those days, people still didn't quite believe that there was a group of people on the face of the earth who controlled the world. But I had lived with them uh, for three years' time at Prudhoe Bay on America's big oil field in northern Alaska on the Arctic Ocean. Right. By the providence of God, I had the privilege of rubbing shoulders with these people across the dinner table in the dorms. Uh, and then that gentleman that called me in the middle of June, whom I had not seen for about 25 years, uh, I had not talked with, I guess, for 25 years, probably had not seen him for 30 or 35 years. And he told me everything that was going to happen over the next 12 months. Jeff, I just wish somehow that I could help every person in your listening audience to realize that everything you have said, all of the things that you've tried to tell people over these years, everything on Rents.com, uh, there positively is a group of people on the face of the earth who control the world. And I used to make the statement that I was so amazed that they control the Arabs, they control OPEC, they tell them what they're going yeah. to give them for a barrel yeah. of oil yeah. on any yeah. given day. And yeah. it is proving exactly right. Yeah. And I am so glad that back the 1st of July, I contacted you, and you could verify the fact that I told you when it was $147 a barrel that I had been told by one of these people who knows everything that the elite are doing that it was going to go to this because otherwise 
if I didn't have some authoritative voice such as you that I had told back in those days, people would have a difficult time believing. Well, that's right. They'd say, oh, come on, yeah, it didn't happen. But it did happen, and it's in the records. It's in my archives. You can hear Lindsay talking about it back then. Uh, we, we made uh, it quite clear. This is exactly what happened. Fascinating. And this past week, I verified it, it was so... You know, to watch all of this happen, I, I must admit to you, I'm rather speechless tonight. Uh, uh, you know, Lindsay, excuse me, a lot of us are, are almost in that same boat on any number of venues that we discuss on this program. The Obama fraud presidency, the uh, the Federal Reserve and all the financial shenanigans, the, the Bernie Madoff uh, crime, the guy gets house arrest. You run out of words for these things. Yeah, you really do. And I'm glad that you feel the same impulse inside that I do. It's kind of frustrating in a way because you use the words, these extreme words to describe things, these descriptors, and after a while they they really lose their punch because people become desensitized to them and they just don't have the clout that we wish they would. Uh, It used to be the word great when I was a kid wasn't used very often. Great is used almost as often as a comma is now in sentences. That and the word like by our young people. But, uh, yeah, the words lose their punch. And and it's tragic, but in a way, the controllers know this, and they like it. And now we have to go to such words as catastrophic, phenomenal. Right. I guess we've taken up the modern-day vocabulary. Now, there were two things that stood out so much this past week in my mind that this gentleman had said that have taken place. Number one, he said the price of crude oil is going to go from $147 a barrel to $50 a barrel. We went down to 34 I believe, just spiked down there briefly here a number of days ago, and now it's back up to about 40 Still has not been able to make it up to 50 again. It will go back. I'll predict this based on the gentleman who talked with me, uh, it is going to go back up to approximately 50. May fluctuate a little bit, 55, 45, back and forth between mm-hmm. the two mm-hmm. for some period of time. The second thing he told me, I asked him, I said, why are you doing this? He said, we're doing it for the purpose of, and I'll put the word bankrupt into my vocabulary because he used it in a much more professional manner. He said, we're going to back, uh, bankrupt the oil-producing countries of the world. This past week, I was on the phone with a gentleman who has the uh, contract for concrete for Dubai. And he said that this was going to happen, uh, that they were going to bankrupt the oil-producing countries of the world. And as of this past week, the country of Dubai, who is building that beautiful five-star city, the most elegant, the most elaborate the most gorgeous city that's ever been built on the face of the earth. They say that there's never been anything like it. And as of this past week, Dubai canceled its concrete contract. That's right. Because of the the people that I have shoulders with back in those days and because of my activity in the oil field over the past 35 years, I've rubbed shoulders with many, many, many other people in the business world also And this gentleman and I were casually talking about the Arab world, and he said, I have, I'm the one who uh, sends the concrete to Dubai. He said, we have the contract with them to supply it from that, for that beautiful city, that building. And he said, Lindsay, this past week, Dubai canceled its concrete contract. They have stopped building on the two largest skyscrapers.